yeah, obviously you get to the point, 2005, where you leave for 30 pretty things. Can you just tell us a bit about that time and how you came to that decision? I mean, by that time, I moved up to London uh, and uh, had met my girlfriend at the time and we had a baby. And the the band was still based in Reading, which is fine. Um, and we were making... The th- starting to write and record stuff for the third record, which for some reason, and I think I think it was something to do with the record label. I think that I think the A and R guy had been elbowed out, uh, and we were kind of given a new A and R guy who wanted to take a slightly new approach, which we were open to. But I, it meant that it was really slow going. So I was driving from London to Reading every day. Uh, Anna was working every day, so I would either drop Nico, my daughter, who's who's now spectacularly in sick form, driving across uh, to Reading every day with her, dumping her at my mum's uh, a couple of days, taking her to the studio maybe, and it was just it, it took its toll. And it was it, the the, rec- the recording process wasn't really going very well. Everything was it was really hard going, and the album that came out at the end was, was pretty good, but it was it was. You know that it was. So we laboured so hard over those songs, and and uh, yeah, and it 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 was it was a really difficult difficult time, and um, uh, not a difficult time. It wasn't like we had cholera or anything, but it was very. It, it was it was hard work, um, and then in the meantime, I'd been <laughs> called. Carl was living about literally five doors down from me in the if in the what video for Wandering, where him and I had, I can't remember which way around. I think he comes and gives me a knock, but we literally were st- when like five doors down from each other. Um, that that's that is that video is accurate. Um, we've been hanging out. The Libertines was coming to an end. I hopped on stage with them uh, in I can't Rock and Ring or Rocking Park, I think. Um, uh, a year before and we were mates and the libertines were breaking up and he had this thing with, that he was putting together with Gary and and Anthony and they needed a bass player and I wasn't having much fun with the Coopers and I and I jumped ship. How did that go down with your old band mates then? Well, they were, I remember calling a meeting. <laughs> um, uh yeah, I think I drove down to Bath. Oh, yeah, we were recording in Bath actually by the end of that process as well, so it was even harder going. But I remember, I remember having a meeting and sort of and telling them, um, and they their response was, "What what can we do?" Um, and I said, "Look, I've you know I haven't taken this decision lightly. This is what I've done." And then you know they were upset, and uh, but they you know cracked on and I got on with it. 